Welcome to the Windows channel and today we're going to show you how to add a second account to Windows 10 but not any type of account, a local account. So you don't want to have for example a Microsoft account or you just want to have a second account that has just local account privileges. Um, here's how you do it. You go in the bottom left, bottom right, sorry, the other left. <laughs> so bottom right, click on notifications you go into all settings. There you'll go into accounts. On the left side, you'll see family and other users. So you click here. Now you might want to click your family here at the top, but this forces you to enter a email address and you cannot bypass that. So if you don't want to add an email address or any information like that, you'll go at the bottom to other users and click add someone else to this PC. Now, once again, it wants an email or phone. Microsoft really makes it hard for you to have a local account with no credentials, no, uh, you know, some kind of signing in or information. So you go to the bottom and you see the person I want to add doesn't have an email address. You click there. Now you'll be sent here where, once again, it wants more information. You'll go down into add a user without a Microsoft account. And here, all you have to do is add the user account let's say friends. You can add a password if you want, but if you don't want to add a password, you just leave the three uh, boxes here empty and you click next. And immediately you'll see that your account is there. And next time you log in, you'll have this choice available with your own, um, you know, account administrator account that you have on your computer. It's as easy as that. Uh, the account has local privileges, but it's also a standard user account. It means that it doesn't have all the privileges. If you are sure about this, that people that are going to use the account, you can change this to administrator. The difference is that an administrator can do anything he wants. He has full control of the, com of the computer. A standard user does not. A standard user could not install, for example, software without your permission. And this makes it very secure because a lot of viruses will actually need permission to install. So it really makes you much safer. And I always recommend that all the other users of a computer be standard users, not administrators. If you enjoy my videos, Please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, maybe you have comments, maybe you have something you want to share with everyone, maybe it's a video you'd like me to make, please, please ask away. It's always a big pleasure to do these. And we'll be helping others at the same time. So thank you very much and hope to see you again.